Motor Speedway. We're here for some fine racing on the high banks at Winchester. It's a bright, sunny, and hot Sunday afternoon. We're running a little bit behind schedule because we had to wait on the ambulance to get here. On the pole for the Stock 4's first heat race is the car number zero of Freddie Hall. Outside of him is the 71 car of Larry Bliss. And then it's the 39 of Steve Bauman, and outside him will be the 12 of Dick Alfrey. And then it's the 28 car, driven today by Rodney something. And I'm sorry, I don't know his last name. And outside of him will be the nine car of, I know who that is. And as I look down my list here, I don't see a nine car listed at the moment, so we'll just let it go. Excuse me. And let's see, where'd we leave off? Uh, next is the, no, we got the 28 car in there. We get the two lap to go signal from the official starter, Rick Monroe. And lining up in the next row behind the, or outside of, I should say, the 28 car is 37, Sunny Hair. And then I believe inside the last row is the 43 of Kenny Reef. And outside of him, uh, can't quite see the number on that car. We'll have to wait just a second for them to come around. Get down to As I said before, it's a bright, sunshiny day. Looks like the nine car will actually be outside of Kenny Reef. Uh, slight change in the lineup, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yes, that's what it will be. So it's uh, Kenny Reef and the nine car bringing up the tail. As I said before, it's Fred Hall and Larry Bliss on the front row. And then the 39 car, uh, Steve Bauman. And outside of him will be Dick Alfrey. And as they pick up speed going into turns three and four, we should get a ring flag this time by. And as those screaming four cylinders wind up those engines, they come down to the start finish line and we have a green flag and we are racing. Bliss pulls out to the early lead with a 71 car of Bauman, is that correct? In second. And then Flurry Bliss, of course it is. In second, but looking inside of him is uh, Dick Alfrey in that 12 car. And Sonny Hare is now moved up to the fourth position. And we have a spinner, the 39. Spins in turn two. We have caution on the track. Steve Bauman in the 39 car. Spins her around and backs her down into the infield. Caution on the track. Okay, we get them relined up once again. The no-name car, which we will just call the number zero, is Fred Hall. He's still your leader. flies and we are racing. Red Hall opening up a big lead and Sonny Hare inside the 71 car for that second place. Now Hare drops back, 71 car picks up that second place. Fairly solid, good battle back there for third. And look at that 28 car moving up. He now passes Sonny Hare for that third position. As the 12 Dick Alfrey looks outside and Kenny Reef looking inside. Kenny Reef inside of Sunny Hare. It's Kenny Reef on the inside, Sunny Hare on the outside, down the back straightaway. Sonny Hare makes it around, or excuse me, 
Kenny Richards and around Sonny Hare as Dick Alfrey takes a look through turns three and four to try to get around the Sonny Hare machine. The nine car, Rich Clark, smoking badly coming through the turns one and two. We got a caution on the track. Four laps completed. The zero car, your leader, the 28 car in second, the 71. Then the 43 of Kenny Reese, the 37 of Sunny Hare. trying to catch on. That's Rodney in that 28 car. Once again, don't have his last name. Third place is now the 71 of Larry Bluss, I believe it is. I've been saying Bliss, but I believe it's Larry Bluss if I'm hearing the track announcer correctly. And then Kenny Reef back there in the fourth position. And your winner, car number zero, Freddie Hall. Twenty-eight car comes in second. Okay, now it's time for the second. Stock four heat race on the pole is the number zero car of Dale Morris. And outside of him is the number one car of Donnie Miller in the second row. Will be the five car of Ed Culp. And outside of him will be the, can't quite tell for sure. flies and we are racing out there is the OA car also of Jeff Morris the 63 of Jim Crabtree looks underneath that call and here comes the 11 of Tim Anderson also out there is the 44 car of Rocky Harris Jim Crabtree jr. now up to second Tim Anderson in the 11 car looks for a way around the number one car of Donnie Miller and he finds it. So now it's, excuse me, Dale Morris, your leader, but Jim Crabtree trying to make short work of that and he does so. Jim Crabtree car number 63, now your leader and here comes Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson car number 11, now second. Dale Morris, car number zero, back to third, just that quick. Good battle in the back of the pack as they are too wide and too deep. Jim Crabtree, car number 63, your leader, but closing is Tim Anderson in the 11 car. Now Anderson looks underneath the 63 of Crabtree, but can't quite make it through turns one and two. Bumper to tail. And now here comes Anderson. He looks underneath and gets side by side going through turns three and four. Tim Anderson, car number 11. One more lap to go. Half a lap now as they head down the back straightaway. Tim Anderson once again looks underneath Jim Crabtree. They're side by side through turns three and four, and as they come down the front straightaway, it's gonna be a close one. It will be Jim Crabtree. Tim Anderson barely in second. The zero car of Daryl Morris finishes third. Once again, your winner, car number 63, Jim Crabtree.
Okay, now it's time for your third heat race for the stock fours. On the pole is car number 20. That's Brent Robertson. Outside of him will be the 37 car. I know who that is. The other 37 car. The black 37 car. That's Rob Wyman. Of course it is. In the next row will be, as the camera winds out here in just a second, In the second row will be inside the 41 car of Carl Oaks and outside of him will be the seven car of Jim Wyman, then the 61 of Pat Turner, the 30 of Jeff Foltz, the 45 of Eddie Flora will bring up the tail. The third he raised for your stock fours here at Winchester today. All righty, the green flag flies and we are racing. They're side by side down into turn number one. Jeff Foltz, car number 30, he takes him three wide down the back straightaway. He wants this lead awful bad, and he will get it going into turns three and four. Jeff Foltz, car number 30, your leader. The 37 car of Wyman is in second. The 20 car of Culp is in third. That's not Culp in 20. Pat Turner, car number 61, spins in turns one and two. Brent Robertson is driving that 20 car. Of course he is. The yellow flag will come out. One more lap to go. Next time by, we should get a green flag. Once again, your leader, car number 30, Jeff Foltz. In, in second is the 37 car of Rob Wyman. And third will be the 20 of Robertson. And then I believe the seven car of Jim Wyman is in the fourth position, your top four. And they pick up the throttle going through turns three and four. Green flag flies and we are, oh, or does it? Yes, it does. Green flag flies and we are racing. Robertson looks for a way around Wyman, but can't Mike make it stick. But here comes Eddie Flora in the 40 ca 45 car. Fast Eddie Flora coming around. He is now third. A man who definitely knows his way around this track. Good battle back there for the fourth position between the 7 and 20 cars. Now Eddie Flora. Dispenses with Wyman, almost for that second position. Now he has it going into turn number one, past Teddy Floor in that 45 car, now second. Jeff Fultz, your leader, checking out. Eddie Flora in second, the 37 of Wyman third, the 20 of Robertson in fourth, white flag that time by Jeff Fultz, your leader. And as he comes down to the start finish line, it will be car number 30, Jeff Fultz in the 45 of Eddie Flora, then the 37 of Wyman, the 20 of Robertson, and a good battle back there. Not quite sure who got the fourth position. A very close race. No doubt about your winner, car number 30. Okay, now it's time for the Super Stocks. The 71X car on the pole. Outside of him will be the 17 car of Tom Dodson. Then it's the other 71 car 
the red, white, and blue 71 car, and the 34 of Ray Hanna. And then it's the 57 of Fred Pyle. And outside of him will be the 52 of Scott Fields. And in the final row will be the 7 car. Don't believe I have a name on that driver. And outside of him will be the 77 car. And don't have a name on that driver. Those two cars getting here late, and we didn't get them into our lineups. The 77 car, in fact, really did not even qualify. Did not get here in time enough for qualification. And we're having a shuffle in the field here. Just changing the lineup just a little bit. Special way of running the Super Stocks here today is they will run for a total of 30 laps. There will be three 10-lap heat, heat races or segments. At the end of each 10-lap segment, the, you, we will invert the finishing order, and that's how they will start for the next 10-lap segment up till the last 10-lap segment for a total of 30 laps. So the Super Stocks will be interspersed throughout all the races here today for a total of 30 laps, 10 laps at a time. It's the 71X. Outside of him is the 57 car. Then it's the 17 and the 52 of Fields. Then it's the, 70, the other 71 car, the red, white, blue 71 car, and the 34 of Ray Hanna. Then the 77 and 7 will bring up the tail. The Super Stocks. Your basic street stocks and or bombers or... Something like that, a little bit different rules. I'll grab my rules here very shortly and see if we can try to tell you a little bit about the super stock. And they come down out of turn four. The 71 X car pulls to the end, pulls to the middle, everybody gets around, green flag flies. down the front straightaway. Your leader is the 57 car. The 57 car, your leader, the 52 of Fields in second, and the 34 of Ray Hanna in third. And we got a couple cars spinning in turns one and two. That will be the red, white, blue 71 and the seven car caution on the track. The 57 car comes into the pits. He, uh, he has been having his problems all day long. The Superstock class, one more lap to go. Superstock class is distinguished by H class in the spring stock car speed fest and the Labor Day weekend world stock car festival. Are unique in that is the only division of cars that the rules require an automatic transmission. The bodies are limited to older styles, and they use V8 engines. So as I said before, your basic street stock car, called the Super Stocks, or will be called the H-Class cars, for the fall stock car speed fest, which will be coming up. Another video produced by Pinstroke Productions coming up here. We will be here Saturday or Sunday and Monday. Well, that fine racing action for Labor Day weekend. So put in your orders now. Green flag flies, and we are racing. The 52 of Fields is your leader. Ray Hanna in second. The 17 car is in third. Tom Dotson in that 17 car in third. The 71 car a little sideways, turn two, one and two. Scott Fields, car number 52, your leader, Ray Hanna, car number 34 in second. The 17 of Dotson in third. Now the 
52 car goes wide, almost touches the wall, and Ray Hanna looks for a way underneath, but can't quite get the job done down the back straightaway. Excellent battle between Fields and Hanna. Halfway that time by, as Ray Hanna looks for a way around the Fields machine. Scott Fields, one of a few, very few, one-armed drivers having an accident, I believe not on the track, a few years back, losing part of his right arm. So he drives basically with one arm, doing an excellent job here. Doesn't seem to be hampering him at all. A very, very good driver. Ray Hanna in second. Scott Fields seems to have the field pretty much in hand, although he is sideways once again through turns one and two. It's the 52 of Fields, the 34 of Hannah. White flag flies. We have one more lap to go for your leader, car number 52, Scott Fields. Ray Hanna still holds down that second position. And that is going to be how they're going to finish. Scott Fields and Ray Hanna. Then it's the 17 car of Dotson in third. And the red, white, blue 71 in fourth. As I said before, they will now take this finishing order and reverse it for the next 10 lap race. Okay, now we are ready for the NASCAR Sportsman. One more lap to go on the pole is car number 41. That's John Ketchum. And outside of him is the 34, Tim McLaughlin. Then it's the 38 of Mike Bryant. And outside of him is the two of Kenny Tweedy. And bringing up the tail will be, I have to wait till they get a little bit closer, didn't quite get a look at that car, looking at the other cars there. The green flag flies and we are racing. That's the nine of Fly Russell. Kenny Twitty looks underneath the McLaughlin for the lead and he has it. And here comes Fly Russell, trying to get around for that second position and he has it. Here comes Mike Bryan in the 38 car, and he gets underneath Russell, trying to pass two cars at once, and almost gets it, but he is still in third. McLaughlin now back to fourth. Now once again, the Mc... Woo! And Bryan sideways through turn four. He catches it, McLaughlin on the brakes hard. Excellent driving by both of those drivers. Kenny Tweedy, car number two, still your leader. the two car of Kenny Tweedy out front. And in the second position is the nine car Fly Russell. Then it's the 38 of Mike Bryant and the 34 of Tim McLaughlin. Now Russell pulls right on, right on the back bumper of Kenny Twitty. He looks for a way around. Kenny Twitty still your leader. The nine of Fly Russell in second. White flag flies, one more lap to go for your leader, car number two, Kenny Tweedy. And 
Wes Russell Jr. looks underneath, but he can't quite get the job done. Your winner, car number two, Kenny Tweedy. In second will be Fly Russell, Mike Bryant third, and Tim McLaughlin in fourth. Okay, now it's time for your second heat race. On the pole is car number 78. That will be Bull, or excuse me, Tony Bryant in the 78 car. Almost said Bull Baker, but that's the 78 late model. Outside of Tony Bryant is the zero of Scott Gumperts. Then it's the 89 of Wes Russell Sr., the two of Dave Brandenburg, the red number two of Dave Brandenburg, and out back, the 31 of Dennis Kelly. The 78 of Tony Bryant is your leader, but here comes Wes Russell Sr. to get around Scott Gumperts, and he will set his light and his sights on the Bryant machine, and he passes with ease. Wes Russell Sr., your leader. Good battle for that second position between Dennis Kelly and Tony Bryant. They're side by sides going through turns one and two and down the back chute. Now Kelly gets around for that second position as Dave Brandenburg will also get around for the third place. The 78 of Tony Bryant back to fourth just that quick. Wes Russell Sr. out there in the front in the lead and driving away with it. The second of 30, or the 31 cars in second, and the two car of Dave Brandenburg is in third. Four laps completed that time by, so we are halfway through this race as Dave Brandenburg looks inside of Dennis Kelly. Wes Russell Sr. in the 89 car is your leader. It's Kelly in second, Brandenburg in third. White flag, one more lap to go. For your leader, Wes Russell Sr. Now Brandenburg pulls underneath the 31 of Kelly. Both cars on the back bumper of Wes Russell Sr. Dave Brandenburg now second. He will set his sights on the leader. And we have a caution on the track. Scott Gumpert's in the zero car. Spins in turn one. Okay, Rick Monroe gives him the one lap to go signal. Wes Russell Sr. still your leader. Dennis Kelly in second and Dave Brandenburg in third. The green flag flies and we are racing. Wes Russell Sr. in the 89 car is still your leader. Dennis Kelly will look underneath, but can't quite get the job done through turns three and four. And your winner, car number 89, Wes Russell Sr. Dennis Kelly second, Dave Brandenburg third, and the 78 of Tony Bryant in fourth. Alrighty, it's time now for your second leg of the super stock races. It's the 71 car, red, white, and blue on the pole. The 71X yellow car 
outside of him. And then it'll be the 34 of Ray Hanna and the 52 of Scott Fields. And bringing up the tail will be the 77 car and the 7 car. As we take a look at the 57 car, still having his problems out there. Caution is being waved. And one of the cars is going to get a black flag being pointed to the 77 car. And now we see why his rear deck lid is loose. Looks like it's holding on, being held on by one of the two hinges on the back. He goes in the pits and gets that taken off, and he will rejoin the field. Now we get the one lap to go signal. We should get a green flag next time by. flies and we are racing. Ray Hanna moves to second immediately. Scott Fields in third. Ray Hanna looks way around for the lead around the red, white, blue 71 car. As the 71 car scrapes the turn four wall, now Scott Fields will look inside of the 34 of Ray Hanna. They are side by side, going through turns one and two. Ray Hanna, car number 34, your leader. Scott Fields in second, the red, white, blue 71 in third. still your leader. The 52 of Scott Fields in second. We will get the halfway signal next time by. Five laps to go for this leg of the Super Stock races here today. Halfway as Scott Fields look up, looks underneath and both cars, Scott Fields spinning. Ray Hanna holds on to it. Scott Fields car number 52. Spins and turns one and two. It's the 34 of Hannah, the 71, red, white, blue 71 in second. And the seven car in third. Green flag flies and we are racing. The seven car erupts in smoke down the front straightaway. Your leader is the 34 car of Ray Hanna, the red, white, blue 71 in second, and Scott Fields up to third already. And I believe we will have a caution on the track if we do. Red flag, black flag, money. Seven car smoking extremely bad. So he will get the back black flag and told to go to the pits. Okay, it's the 34 of Hannah, the 71, red, white, blue, 71 in second, and the 52 of Scott Fields in third. flies and we are racing. Scott Fields immediately moves inside of the red, white, blue 71 car. Scott 
Scott Fields, car number 52, now up to second. Four car, then the 52 car, and then the 71 car. Your top three. flies for your leader, car number 34, Ray Hanna. Scott Field still back there in second. And your winner will be car number 34, Ray Hanna. Scott Field's in second. The red, white, blue 71 finishes third. Once again, we will invert this order for the last leg of this 30 lap staggered start. Alrighty, now it's feature time. On the pole is the 30 of Jeff Bolton. Outside of him, the 63 of Jim Crabtree. Then it's the 45 of Eddie Flora. Outside of him, the 11 of Tim Anderson. In the third row will be the 37 of Wyman and the zero car. Then it's the 20 of Ed Culp in the number one car. Then the seven of Wyman in the 44 car. In the next row is the 41 in the five car. The 61 of Pat Turner's next, then the 08 car. Then it's the 71 and 28. That's 37 of Sunny Hare, the 43 of Kenny Reef, the 39 car, and the 12 car of Dick Alfrey. And out back is the zero car. Of Hall. One more lap to go. They will be racing for 20 laps. The stock fours here at Winchester Speedway. The green flag is out and we are racing. Your leaders are side by side down the back straightaway as they are three wide in the back of the pack. Now Jeff Foltz, car number 30, gets a commanding lead, but Jim Crabtree fights back. Tim Anderson in third, Eddie Flora in fourth. Now Jeff Foltz pulls away for that lead. Jeff Foltz, car number 30, your leader. Crabtree back to second. Tim Anderson still in third, and Eddie Flora charging in fourth. underneath Crabtree for that second position and he has it and here comes Fast Steady Floor in the 45 car. Your leader is still Jeff Fultz. As we look back in the pack, good battle going on back there. down the back straightaway. And we got a 
car slow on the back stretch. That's the seven car of Jim Wyman. He is slow down the back straightaway. Jeff Folk and the 39 car is into the wall. Jeff Foltz does a great job of driving. Some other cars caught up in it. Looks like Anderson was caught up in it. Looks like Jim Crabtree also in it. And I think I see the Eddie Foreman machine. And ooh, and Pat Jones can't get stopped in time. And she, she hits the front end of the Jim Crabtree machine. Eddie Flora with some right, with some damage on the right front corner of that machine. The 39 car taking a hard shot in the turn four wall. He is out of the car. Steve Bauman, he's out of the car and walking around. He's okay. In fact, everybody's out of the cars and okay. Jim Crabtree climbing out of his car. Pat Jones also standing there. She's okay out of her car. Okay, we got one lap to go, and we should get a green flag. Jeff Fultz, your leader. Tim Anderson, second. Eddie Flora, third. Then it's the 44 of Rocky Harrison, fourth. Still your leader, Tim Anderson in second, Eddie Flora in third. That's fast Eddie Flora. He slowed through turns one and two. The 45 car is slow. It looks like his day is finished. up on this lap, on this lower traffic. He 
He'll lap Sonny Hare first. And then he'll set his sights on the Freddie Hall car. And we'll pass him with ease. And he will take him three wide down the back straightaway and get by Alfrey in the 28 car. Jeff Fulcher, leader, just dominating this race. Jim Anderson in the 11 car, still in second. Now Anderson dispenses with the lap traffic and sets his sights on the leader, Jeff Fultz. Bolts in second will be Tim Anderson. Once again, car number 30, Jeff Fulcher winner. Next up is the Sportsman cars. On the pole will be the 31 of Dennis Kelly and outside of him the 2 of Kenny Tweedy. And it'll be the 2, red 2, of Dave Brandenburg and outside of him 9, Wes Russell Jr. And it'll be the 78 of Tony Bryant and the 38, his brother Mike Bryant. In the next row will be the 41 of Ketchum and the 34 of McLaughlin. Then it's the zero of Scott Gumperts and the 89 of Wes Russell Sr. The limited sportsman, sometimes called the late model sportsman. and Tweedy, Brandenburg and Russell Jr. Then it's Brian and Bryant, Gumperts and McLaughlin, and Wes Russell Sr. and John Ketchum. They pick up the throttle through turns three and four, the green flag flies and we are racing. Your leaders are side by side. Kenny Tweedy pulls out now to the lead. Dennis Kelly back to second. As Brandenburg looks for a way around the nine of West Russell Jr. And Mike Bryant in the 38 car back there in fifth. The two 
of Kenny Tweedy, the 31 of Dennis Kelly, the 9 of Wes Russell Jr., and the red 2 of Dave Brandenburg. Your top four cars, nose to tail on the track. Now Brandenburg looks underneath Wes Russell Jr. for that fourth position. Excuse me, for that third position. Dave Brandenburg in the red number two. They're side by side, and we have a black flag on Scott Gumpert. That car smoking badly. We go back up to the leaders. Dave Brandenburg on the inside. The nine of Wes Russell Jr. on the outside. Side by side down the front straightaway and all the way around the track. is dispensed with Russ Russell Jr. He is in third and he'll set his sights on the 31 of Dennis Kelly. Now Kelly moves high through turns one and two. Brandenburg down low. Brandenburg on the inside, Kelly on the outside. They're side by side, going into turns three and four. Lap the 41 of John Ketchum. We got a car slow, and it's Mike Bryant as parts are coming off that car. I don't know whether it's tire going down or something more serious, but Mike Bryant in the 38 car, slow on the track. Caution on the track now, because there is some debris. And there, that tells the story. Car number 38, Mike Bryant being pushed back into his pit stall. Carter Rick Monroe gives the one lap to go signal. We should get a green flag next time by your leader, the white and blue two of Kenny Tweedy. Then it's the red two of Dave Brandenburg. And then the 31 of Dennis Kelly. And then the nine of Wes Russell Jr. Okay, Scott Gumperts will join the field. We'll give him a chance to do that. Now we will have one more lap to go. And next time we will have a green flag. Brandenburg, Kelly, and Fly Russell, your top four. Then it's Tim McLaughlin, the 78 of Tony Bryant, and the 41 of John Ketchum. Green flag flies, and we are racing. And each Tweedy jumps out to a big lead. Dave Brandenburg still in second, the 31 of Dennis Kelly in third. Still, 
Tweedy and Brandenburg. Brandenburg now looks outside of, of Tweedy going into turns one and two, but can't quite get the job done as he looks inside down the back straightaway. Looking for a way around. Now Brandenburg moves inside of Kenny Tweedy. They're side by sides going into turn one and two. Tweedy slides high. Brandenburg stays right there. Both cars giving each other plenty of room to race. It's the two, and then the two. The blue, blue and white two is your leader. The red and white two, or the red number two is in second, but Dave Brandenburg says, uh-uh, my two car should be in front. And now Brandenburg comes around. They're side by side in a virtual dead heat. That time across the strike. 17 laps now completed. This will be lap 18. A good Russell, a good battle back between West Russell and the 31 of Dennis Kelly for that third position. It's still Tweedy and Brandenburg for the lead. White flag, one more lap to go this time by. As Brandenburg pulls inside one more time in the Kenny Tweedy car. They're side by side down the back straightaway and into turns three and four. And as they come out of turn four, they're still side by side and across the line. That is too close for me to call. We'll have to wait for the call from official scoring. Dennis Kelly finishes third, Wes Russell Jr. in fourth. Your lead is still up for grabs, we are not sure. We knew he was third, we knew he was fourth, and the official scores have told us that the winner will be the white two car of Kenny Tweedy, Dave Brown, second. Okay, the call is that Kenny Tweedy and the white number two will be your winner. Okay, now after a review of the videotape, it has been determined that it was a dead heat. Your winners are Dave Brandenburg in the red number two and the white and blue number two of Kenny Tweedy. Dead heat. Hamilton, Ohio. Dick Paps from Hamilton, Ohio. James Lewis from There are your two winners, Dave Brandenburg and Kenny Tweedy, coming across in a virtual dead heat. Good job, guys. From Bell Fountain, Ohio. Don. Okay, now it's time for the late models. On the pole will be the car number two of, oh gee, that's Brian Ross, of course it is. Then it's the 78 of Bull Baker. Then it's the 92 of Tom Hamilton. And outside of him will be the 12 car of Scott Neal. Then it's the 22 car, I don't have a name on him. And outside of him is the z double zero car of Ray Fullen. And we're getting a change in the lineup as the 15 of uh, Rick Ronimus will take up his spot in the second row inside, moving the 92 car back beside Fullen. Then it's the 22 car and the 32 car. And out back will be the 10 of Scott Eggman and the six of Royce Mason. The late models will race for 50 laps. And as they come down, oh, the green flag flies and we are racing. It's the two of Brian Ross and the 78 of Bull Baker side by side. And then it's the 15 of Rick Rodimus and the 12 of Scott Neal. Now Rodimus looks underneath the two car, but can't quite get the job done. Bull Baker, car number 78, your leader. But it's the 12 of Scott Neal now in second. As Rick Rodimus looks around for third, but can't quite get the job done. It's the 12 of Scott Neal. He looks underneath Bull Baker. The two car. 
of Brian Ross is in third. Rick Rodimus fourth. Bull Baker car number 78, your leader. Now Rick Rodimus looks inside of the 12 car of front, no, of Scott Neal. I knew that. And Rick Ronimus gets around and he sets his sights on the 12 of Scott Neal. He got, just got around the two car Brian Ross that was right the first time. It's Baker and Neal. And then Ronimus, your top three. Now Scott Neal looks underneath Bull Baker down the back straightaway. They will be side by side. But Bull Baker pulls out the lead once again down the front straightaway. It's Bull Baker, Scott Neal, Rick Rodimus. And Brian Ross, your top four. Royce Mason now up to fifth in the sixth car. Now Neil will look inside of the 78 of Bull Baker. Scott Neal, car number 12, your new leader. Bull Baker back to second. Ronimus in third, the two of Ross, and then it's the six of Royce Mason. Baker still in second, Rick, Rick Ronimus in third. Brian Ross now looks outside, doing it the hard way, but he can't get the job done through turns one and two. And here comes Royce Mason on the inside. Mason inside and outside. He's now third in that six car. As the 10 of Scott Eggman is slow down the back straightaway. Now Royce Mason will look a four way around. Bull Bakers, we got a good battle going on here back in the pack between Ray Fullen and Rick Ronimus. Baker still your second place car, but Royce Mason looking for a way around. Scott Neal still holds down that number one position. 
Royce Mason takes another look underneath Bull Baker through turns one and two, but he can't quite get the job done. Smoke comes pouring out of the sixth car of Royce Mason. I believe his day is through. Car number six, Royce Mason, smoking badly. Six, Royce Mason. I believe his day is through. And we have another car on the back straightaway. That's the two car of Brian Ross. He has stopped on the back straightaway. Okay, it's Scott Neal, then Bull Baker. Your top two cars. We got a one more lap signal from your official starter Rick Monroe in third is Ray Fallen in the double zero car back there in fourth is the 92 of Tom Hamilton the green flag flies and we are racing in the fifth position is the 22 car it's Scott Neal your leader Bull Baker in second Ray Fullen third. Scott Neal, your leader, Bull Baker, second, Ray Fullen, third. The 92 of Tom Hamilton in fourth. There's a good look at your leader, car number 12, Scott Neal. Inching out a little bit farther with that lead over Bull Baker in the 78 car. And the 22 car goes into the pits and comes back out. Fullen trying to catch up to Bull Baker. But the distance seems to be maintaining the same both between the first and second cars and the second and third cars.
And now Rick Ronimus looks underneath the Ray Fullen machine for that third position. Rick Ronimus in car number 15, now third. Ray Fullen back to fourth. Bull Baker is still in second, and your leader, Scott Neal, still charging. take this opportunity to remind you that not only does Pinstroke Productions videotape here at Winchester Speedway, but it al also at Columbus Motor Speedway, which coming up at September 25th and 26th is the sixth annual main event, $12,000 to win for the super late models. We also videotape at Kill Care Speedway and Kill Care Dragway for the Midwest's finest video racing series, Pinstroke Productions. The next time we'll be back here at Winchester is September 5th and 6th for the World Stock Car Festival weekend. You will see these cars plus the Sportsman cars, the ARCA Pro 4s, there will be six competing classes as I look here at my schedule. So they will have, there's not a list of all the six classes, but there will be six competing, competing classes, including the ARCA Pro 4s, the sportsman cars, the late models, and the super stocks, plus two more classes. I, I imagine it will be the stock 4s and the Great Ameri Grand American Modifieds. At least I'm assuming. And the 32 car with a hand out the window shuts it down as the leader, car number 12, Scott Neal, goes past. In second is still Bull Baker. In third, Rick Ronimus. As the 12 car, Scott Neal puts the lap on the 92 of Tom Hamilton. Four laps to completed, six more laps to go for your leader, car number 12, Scott Neal. Look at your third place car, car number 15, Rick Ronimus. complete. Two more laps to go. For your leader, car number 12, Scott Neal. We should get the white flag next time by. And Scott Neal. Car number 12 on his final circuit around the half mile high banks of Winchester. Through turns three and four. And as he comes down the front straightaway, your winner, Scott Neal. In second will be Bull Baker in the 78 car. And then the 15 of Rick Ronimus will be third. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Joyce Mink for her assistance in helping me with the lineups. Or I wouldn't have known any of these guys' names hardly. As we take a look at your winner, once again, Scott Neal. 
Once again, we not only videotape here at Winchester Speedway, Columbus Motor Speedway in Columbus, Ohio, Killcare Speedway in Xenia, Ohio, and Killcare Dragway for the Midwest Finest Video Racing Series and Stroke Productions. We will see you back here September 5th and 6th for the World Stock Car Festival Weekend. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for purchasing these videotapes. And goodbye. I said goodbye, and we got one more race to go. I forgot about the Super Stocks. Sorry about that, guys. As soon as we get finished with the winner circle here for the late models, I almost forgot about the Super Stocks. They're up next for their final 10-lap leg of their 30-lap event. Scott Neal getting his picture taken in victory lane. And up on the podium, podium is Scott Neal, Bull Baker, and Rick Ronimus. Now we are ready for the super stocks. One more lap to go and a wave to the crowd as they go past this time by. On the pole is the red, white, blue 71 and the 71X. In second is the 34 Ray Hanna and the 52 of Scott Fields. Then it's the 17 car of Tom Dodson and the seven car outside of him. And bringing up the tail is the 77 car. As they pick up the speed through turn four, the green flag flies and we are racing. Your early leaders, the red, white, blue, number 71, Ray Hanna in second, the 17 car of Tom Dotson in third. Scott Fields, car number 52 in fourth. Red, white, blue, 71, still your leader, but here comes Ray Hanna underneath. They're side-by-sides going through turns one and two. Now Ray Hanna, car number 34, your leader. 71 car back to second, but he fights back and battles back underneath. Ray Hanna through turns three and four. Ray Hanna looks underneath through turns three and four, but can't quite get the job done as Scott Fields moves up to that third position. It's the red, white, blue 71. I believe that's Johnny Baker. And Scott Fields back there in third. Ray Hanna still holds down that second position. He looks underneath one more time. It's the 34 of Hannah in second, looking for a way around Baker in the 71 car. And Scott Fields sits back there in the catbird seat in the 52 car in third. The 70, oh, and the 71 car gets into the 34 of Ray Hanna. Ray Hanna spins and he's into the wall on the back stretch. It's the red, white, blue 71 car, your leader, the 52, and that is Johnny Baker, the 52 of Scott Fields in second. And 
and the green flag flies. The 17 car looks underneath the fields for that second place. Tom Dotson looking for a way around. It's Baker, Fields, and Dotson, your top three cars. Now Scott Fields looks underneath the 71 of, of Johnny Baker. I start to say Scott Baker. Now they're side by side down the back straightaway. Into turns three and four. Now they're side by side through one and two. It's the 52 of Scott Fields on the inside, the 71 of Johnny Baker on the outside as the 17 of Tom Dotson sits back there in the catbird seat looking and watching and waiting. Now Scott Fields pulls ahead down the back straightaway. Scott Fields, car number 52, your new leader. We will get the white flag this time by. One more lap to go for your leader, Scott Fields, car number 52. It's the 71 of Johnny Baker in second and the 17 of Tom Dotson third. And as they come through turns three and four, and that is just how they'll finish. It'll be Fields, Baker, and Dotson. Now that I'm sure we're finished racing, I'd like to thank everybody for their assistance in helping me produce this videotape here today. Like I said, one of the people I have to thank is Joyce Mink, who got me what I do have of the lineups. I want to apologize to the other drivers that I did not know or did not have the names of. Once again, we look at Scott Fields in Victory Lane. I'm Nate Pennington, and for everybody at Pinstroke Productions, we thank you.